Yeah. What is good, y'all? Welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy, J.I., and I'm back at it again with another banger video for you guys. So, as you guys can tell by the title and the thumbnail of today's video, we are basically going over how to use HP tuners when tuning your Camaro, Challenger, Charger, Mustang, whatever you got, you know what I'm saying? A quick little rundown slash tutorial on how to use HP tuners. Um, honestly, I've gotten a couple comments asking me, you know, questions here and there on how to, you know, maneuver with uploading tunes to the car, downloading tunes to your computer and whatnot. So that being said, I thought I'll go ahead and make a vlog and show you guys how to do it, man. It's actually quite simple once you get a full understanding on what the softwares are and how they work. So that being said, y'all, we're gonna go ahead and roll that intro. We'll get straight into this banger. Let's get it, man. guys so jumping straight into this video man there's actually six things that you're gonna need when you're going through this process so number one you're gonna need a computer or a tablet that is able to run Windows 10 if it cannot run Windows 10 it's not gonna work number two you're gonna need an MPVI 3 or MPVI 2 and then number three you're gonna need a cord to connect your tablet or laptop to the MPVI then there's two files that you're going to have to download. One is the scanner and the other, I can't remember the name off the top of my head, but I will show you guys in this video. And then the very last thing that you're going to need, obviously, is a tuner. So that being said, you got your tune file already sent out by the tuner. It's time to flash the tune onto the car. Let's get into it. All right, you guys. So when you get in the car, right? You're going to have the car in accessory mode. You're going to have your MPVI 3 plugged into the OBD2 port of your vehicle. You're going to come onto the computer. And like I told you guys, you're going to have two softwares. You're going to have the VCM editor and the VCM scanner. The VCM editor is the software that you use when you're uploading a file to the car. The VCM scanner is the software that you use whenever you're data logging the car. So when you get your tune from your tuner, you're gonna go to the email, you click on the file, you'll download the file. Once the file is downloaded to your computer, you'll click on the file and it's gonna immediately pull up VCM editor with the tune file at the very top. You always want to make sure that the tune file matches the file that you just clicked so you know that you're flashing the correct tune. Now, once you've already pulled up that file and the VCM editor is pulled up, everything is right, everything is correct. What you're going to do is you're going to click the button that has the red arrow pointing down. You're going to click that, then this is going to pop up. It's going to say vehicle writer. You're going to go ahead and make sure that your drop down is on right calibration once it is you're going to go ahead and hit right after you hit right the car is going to start calibrated now while this is happening bro leave the door closed do not open the door don't mess with the car don't do nothing just let the car do its thing it's going to seem like it's freaking out spazzing all type of stuff your dash is going to start resetting all the lights are going to illuminate as you guys see but it's all a part of the tuning process bro so once it's done riding the vehicle it's going to tell you all the lights will go back to normal and we'll proceed with the next steps so as y'all can see it is loading right now we've got less than 12 seconds left and it'll be done riding the vehicle and then we can go ahead clear out of this and fire the car up and i'll also show you guys how to start a data log um in vcm scanner okay so look the ride is complete right 
all of your lights have gone regular all you've got is the check engine light but that's because you're in accessory mode so what you're going to do is you're going to press close you can close out of the vcm editor you can open up the vcm scanner um if you're in like a, a garage or whatnot crack the garage and turn the car off let it sit for like two three seconds right once the car is off, this is what the VCM scanner looks like. Um, of course, my gauges and my layout is going to be different from yours. Each tuner has everything set up to the way that they like it. So your tuner, if it's not RK, who's the goat for six gens, bruh, at me if you want to. And, you know, you're sleeping, but it'll be different gauges. You know what I'm saying? Um, but in order to connect to the vehicle, what you're going to do is you're going to hit this left blue car that's going to connect the car, the MPVI3, and your computer all in one. And that way you'll be able to see everything. Now that the vehicle, now that we're connected to the vehicle, you can go ahead and get the first startup. That click is gonna happen. Hit the button one more time. And she'll fire right up for you, literally. And then all of your lights will go away that popped up on your dash. The safety restraint is because my seat belt on the passenger side is still disconnected. Alrighty, now that we've got that taken care of, right? What you wanna do with the scanner, you're gonna go ahead and press this red record button. And once you press that, now all your gauges come to life. You're reading properties, you've got your RPM, you've got your speed if you were driving, mass airflow sensor, your map sensor, ECT, IATs, like everything, everything that, you know, you're supposed to be viewing via your tuner, you will be able to see it all pop up. And now the cool thing about this is you can stop this right now by pressing the blue square. This little log, you can say, is a log in its own. Now, how you would save this is you're going to hit the save in the, the top left corner. You'll make a name for it blah 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 whatever whatever you want to make the name be let's just say ji nah we're gonna we're gonna put subscribe you dig <laughs> y'all subscribe to the channel right now if you haven't already but after that you go ahead close out press save and that's it now you've saved the log now to disconnect from the vehicle you're gonna press the car that's on the right hand side give it a second it'll flash and now you've disconnected from the car now you can unplug your scanner you can turn the car off all type of stuff you're good but all right you guys with that being said that is my quick little rundown on how to use hp tuners i hope this video was helpful i hope for the ones who've been commenting and dming me asking me for a quick run down on how to use it i hope this answered you guys's questions i hope you're more confident using hp tuners moving forward after watching this vlog but with that being said y'all that's actually going to wrap it up for today's video if you guys are new to the channel do your boy a favor hit that subscribe button turn on post notifications drop a comment in the comment section down below if this video was informative helpful in any way form shape in any way shape or form to you please give this video a thumbs up if you have any tips or tricks or whatever that you you know what i'm saying feel like i missed or you want to add in feel free to drop them in the comment section down below because this is a ji squad we are a unit we are a family you dig what i'm saying so that being said nobody's bigger than anybody here nobody knows more than anybody here at the end of the day we're all here to learn so you know if you guys know a way to make it go smoother or go faster, I'm all here for it. You know what I'm saying? So drop them in the comment section down below. But I feel like I touched on all the key points. Um, I know it can be a little tricky. It can be a little confusing. But trust me, just like anything in life, you do it a couple times, you'll get the hang of it pretty quickly. And it'll become muscle memory. But with all that being said, man, enough of that jibber jabber let's go ahead and roll that outro and i'll see y'all in the next one peace spoiler alert we may have a new exhaust coming for vader i may or may not be picking that up very very soon 
and the front end may or may not be getting a refresh in Friday's video. So that being said, if you guys have been wondering what that box is, <laughs> it's been sitting in the corner and it's been in the vlogs for the past, I don't know how many months. Just stay tuned to Friday's video, turn on post notifications so you don't miss it because trust. The front end is just about to take a huge, huge transformation on and I cannot wait to see the final product. So that being said, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and roll that outro. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.